Hello and welcome to the lecture. So we will start with the odds in Oracle Apex which is called as odds response services. So we will start with the uh, module creation and before that this is the brief overview of the uh, default settings for the RESTful data services where we will have one module that is the Oracle example HR which consists of uh, employees and departments and three privileges seven roles and there is no enabled objects for now uh, we can enable an object and we can make it auto rest yeah that's an option as well so we'll just start with creating a modules here so we can go to this modules and it will be redirecting to a page also if you have another odd service you can also import it and even export it so it takes some time because of the server and yeah so we are we are in the modules so we have this already defined module for an example so let's start with creating a new module for our countries table so clicking on the create module so let's give some module name here so i'll just give epa countries as the table name and the base path is what you have to use that in the URL. So it will start with uh, this cloud domain dot com and then slash that one and slash yeah followed by template. So we'll just start with countries itself for the base uh, module name and then pagination size is what you know the results for that JSON object. So later on you can change it but for now we'll just make it to default as 25 so that 25 results will be returned and you can even customize your pagination uh, based on the next and the previous things even urls will be having that friendly things to do so it's not a big thing to mind on that so for the origins allowed it's up to you to make two restrictions or not so as given in the help we can see that uh, every origin will have different thing like example.com is different and another dot example.com is different with respect to port. If you don't want any restriction on the domain, you can just leave it as it is for empty and you can just uh, add some comments for that. Something for an example and I will create the module. So this can be achieved through PSQL API as well and we have that in the oracle documentation or you can refer that from the odds PLSQL package and let us wait for this to be created successfully and we can refer that so as you can see that this is the url for the module we got this is the base name and followed by odds slash this is the schema odd schema followed by this name which we give as the base part so this for that module things and you need to define the templates as you go on like this for the employees which have lots of templates here and we'll be doing that very soon and coming to the odds and sql package so we have this uh, thing for the odds and sql apis here where we have various definitions to define handlers modules parameters and templates and even various roles and services things so for defining a module we have this syntax here so you can directly run in this uh, object browser where you have SQL comments to create it as well it will be creating it's not a problem and yeah so you can define the same parameters where you will be defining the module name we saw the page path and the pagination and status it's the published API which we missed it out this one should be published by default and the comments as well so this all things you can create through PNSQL if you don't have oracle apex as well so this is how it's done so we'll just use the oracle apex the most and if you need it we'll just refer the PNSQL apis so this for the modules are now and you'll be learning more on that with the templates only because it's just a base point and we don't have any uh, matching with the sql statements to return it so we'll see the templates part in the next lecture.